Hi everyone, I'm Noelle Marshall and I'm right here with uh, John and uh, John you're a, uh, a licensed massage therapist visiting White Eagle Lodge from where? From Virginia. Okay, from, um, did you tell me Lynchburg? Lynchburg, yes. Okay, uh -huh. and uh, Bob and I are here visiting the White Eagle Lodge and uh, Boomer wants to let it known that he's also here visiting. So um, just, just be quiet, Boomer. So anyway, I met John here, and he has a, uh, uh, he's going to tell us about a massage technique that can be used in conjunction with other therapies. And uh, John has been an instructor uh, of massage therapy for how many years? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, okay. Mm -hmm. And why don't you tell us just a little bit about your background and uh, the technique that you're going to be telling us about. And uh, then we're going to have part two. And part two is uh, I'm going to uh, volunteer for John to um, share this technique. So I'm going to be his guinea pig. So over to you, John. Well, um, I was taught Hwasa by a chiropractor near Lynchburg and um, used the technique on his patients. Um, at the same time, I was having a problem myself and uh, did not know quite what to make of it. Uh, I thought probably I had fibromyalgia. Uh, and that was uh, very difficult to, to deal with. Um, I tried any number of massage techniques. Uh, I was working on it myself. I didn't really want to uh, go the doctor route. Um, and it wasn't until I finally decided that Gua Sa might help um, that I realized what a gem I had. Um, Gua Sa was probably four or five times more effective than other techniques and uh, took much less energy to, uh, to perform. Mm -hmm. And so I began to make real progress with the problem. Um, so you kind of healed yourself with this technique, or did others use it on you? Well, m mainly I used it on myself, mm. but um, <clears throat> I did occasionally get other people to use it on me. Mm -hmm. um, sure, there are areas that, of the, that you weren't able to reach yourself that yes. would help. Yes, particularly the back. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> it did take I'd say between two and three years of, uh, of rather hard work to overcome the problem, hmm. and, um, but, but I did that, and it, uh, so, uh, without doctors, without medications, without side wow. effects, and, wow. and without going broke, uh, <laughs> we like that part. I, yes. <laughs> <coughs> I, uh, <coughs> I overcame the problem. Well, John, let me just back up a little bit here and have you, uh, guasa was a new word for me. <coughs> Could you spell that for us and give us a little background about, is this a technique that you made up or uh, you said you got it from your chiropractor. Or is there some heritage there about guasa itself you can well, share with us? Guasa is Chinese. Mm -hmm. Gua means friction or to rub. Sa is the congested blood that comes to the surface when you use the technique. Mm -hmm. And that's something, that part of the technique is something that is very new to most people. Mm -hmm. um, the technique itself is part of the Chinese culture. Uh, Arya Nielsen, one of the um, major um, authorities on the subject, says that it's 3,000 years old. Wow. Um, but uh, it has not yet made much of a, uh, a splash on, in our culture. Mm -hmm. um, recently, Dr. Oz did a program that featured Gua Sa as one um, wow. major pain relieving technique. <clears throat> wow. So you could use it in, with fibromyalgia, but that's how you particularly used it, that but any pain, aspect. any any pain would be uh, it be able to be applied to. Is that yes. correct? 
any muscular pain. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Yes. And Guasa. G-W-A. G-U-A. G-U-A. S-H-A. S-H-A. Okay. And it's, and it's uh, Dr. Oz, uh, no, I'm not going to say approved, but he's <laughs> uh, shared that information uh, yes. on his show. Yes. Well, that should really enhance this technique to just get it out there, uh, get it more visible. Because what a gift. I, 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 definitely. Um, that's probably the only way that, that the general public is going to um, realize how effective this is. Mm -hmm. um, it, it will be a tremendous benefit to, to probably millions of people. Oh. There's so many that suffer with pain and then, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I myself have always been uh, uh, afraid to take any medications and afraid or just choose not to, a, a little bit of both I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, what a gift this would be because so many people do live in chronic pain, do they not? Or it's a major problem these days. Okay, with our lifestyle, technology, um, probably foods and even water, I think. Um, yes, lifestyle, including lack of exercise um, mm -hmm. and. Um, okay, food guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> food that might not be really terribly nourishing. Okay. All right, uh, this is part one. Um, we are going to do a part two where. Uh, John is going to use the technique on me. And now uh, I'm going to sit on this little uh, stool here and he's going to work on my lower back. And um, John, uh, tell me, does it, um, uh, is this familiar? Is this something like, uh, uh, I don't, I'm not going to find out, but uh, is this similar to what some therapists call cupping or is this different from that? No, this is quite different. Quite different. Okay. Um, it, it is basically just massage using a tool with a blunt rounded edge. Okay. And uh, even though there are traditional tools that are made for Gua Sa, mm -hmm. um, which are slices of water buffalo horn that have been shaped, um, a jar lid is almost ideal for the practice. Okay. So save all those uh, baby jar lids. Is that what pickle jar, is? pickle jar lids, or pickle whatever. Jar. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, unless John, you want to add anything else here to part one before we go to the demonstration? I I don't think so. Okay. Let's just do it. All righty. And um, uh, I but before we do, I'm going to say, John, please give us your your full name and how somebody could contact you if they want to learn more about this technique or any other reference you'd like to give. Okay, I'm John Caldwell, and my email address is jsc3 at juno.com. jsc3 at juno.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Caldwell, like C A L D, right. W E L L. Right. Okay, very good. So, this is complete part one of our uh, little chat here at uh, White Eagle Lodge in Montgomery, Texas. <laughs>